Hey everybody, really welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Um, what's got your attention? Uh, if you like the videos, please just click like, share, subscribe. It really helps me. It really helps content makers know what the audience wants to see more of. So it would really help. So, so do that whilst you watch the video. Really appreciate it. Um, today we are looking at this. This is uh, a raspberry pie. Uh, it's 4.7% ABV. Um, it is a uh, raspberry oat milkshake flavoured pale ale in a 330ml can. And it's brewed by the uh, Brew York Brewery in York. Hi hey everybody. Right, so this is the Raspberry Pi, and I think it's just worth taking a look at how they spell that. Raspberry Pi. Pi like that because they see it that um, the Raspberry Pi did a lot for making computers and the internet more accessible, and they want this Raspberry Pi to do the same for uh, milkshake flavoured. Um, beers yeah um, what's our expectation from it well it's actually got real oat milk in it so I'm expecting something particularly creamy from this it's raspberry so we're expecting something fruity maybe a hint of vanilla in there um, it's I'm not expecting anything hoppy or malty or bitter or whatsoever um, not really expecting much of a dump for this. I'm just expecting it to taste like a raspberry milkshake, I guess, is what I'm expecting from it. But we'll crack it open and take uh, take a look. Um, I'm not always a fan, if I'm being honest, of these drinks. Um, it's a... Uh, it's... I, I'm, I'm just not, I, I just don't think it always works, but I'm always willing to be proved wrong. That's poured with a lot of carbonation. That looks like a, um, I was going to say peach colour, it's almost like a dark, dark peach colour, and the head, the fizzy head, has disappeared almost immediately. There's still a little bit of carbonation by looks it going on in there. Um, you can see it's hazy. Mm, if I'm being honest, it's not something that floats about that. It, it's not something that looks particularly attractive to me. Uh, it's so it's that's like the first test of any time you want to do a uh, drink a beer is what does it actually taste? What does it actually look like? What's it smell like? Does it make us want to drink it? And, and this so far, no, it doesn't. Um, but we'll, we'll put our nose in and see what it smells like. So aroma-wise, I am picking up the fruitiness from it. I am picking up a little bit of fruitiness from it. It is raspberry and, and it does smell milky. So from an aroma perspective, it, it kind of is what it is. It's, it's mild. It, it's not in your face. I thought it might have been a little bit more in your face. Mm, okay. It's, it's interesting so far. Let's uh, take a taste and see what it's like. Cheers, everybody. Okay, a lot of carbonation going in there for, for starters, which, which I wasn't expecting. Not a big fan of when it comes to stuff like this. But there is a fresh raspberry flavour as well. It doesn't taste artificial, it does taste like fresh raspberries. And there is a mild tartness going on in the mouth. So it, it tastes like something's being made out with, with fresh fruit. So that's a positive. The can does go into the ingredients, um, barley oats, oat milk, raspberry, um, hops and vanilla. I must say it is light and fresh. I'll give it that. 
the more you drink, the more, the more you do get that tart raspberry flavour, which is quite nice. But the light, the lightness probably comes from the use of the oat milk, and that that does work. It's nice that it's not that heavy. Do you know what? It, it's 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 okay. It's um, it's a nice drink. It's sweet. There isn't any maltiness, maltly bitterness in there. Um, I would have liked it to have been probably a little bit more fruity. And probably, personally, I would have liked it to have been more fruity, less carbonated, and maybe a little bit more cream milky in, in the mouth. It would have been much more like a milkshake, to, to be, if I'm being honest, I'm picturing in my head, ideally, these sorts of flavours in some sort of milk stout might have been better. And people do put these sorts of fruits in, in milk stouts and it comes out quite nice. It misses the mark a little bit for me. I did say I wasn't really expecting any any um, any oomph behind the drink. And I'm, I'm not getting it. It is what it is. It's pleasant. And the fact it's nice and uh, light, it's 4.7%, so it's sessionable. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to score it a 6 out of 10. Cheers, everybody.